She is remembered as the Manchester-born suffragette who helped women win the right to vote. And now her memory will live on as a statue of Emmeline Pankhurst is set to be unveiled in St Peter's Square in 2019. Sculptors from across the country submitted their entries, but now only six shortlisted designs remain. The Womanchester Statue Project was launched in 2014 to celebrate the achievements of Manchester women. 20 contenders were in for a chance of becoming the new face of the statue, but Emmeline Pankhurst polled more than half of the 5,300 votes cast. People from all over the world voted in that, in that campaign. I think this will be an international tourist attraction. People will come from the places where they voted, Australia, New Zealand, the United States, Hong Kong, um, other parts of the Far East. They will come from all over to, to have a look at this. And I think it will really put Manchester on the map for when it comes to women's rights. I felt that early on I had something to offer to the project, genuinely. And I felt I could produce a sculpture which would have something to say to the viewer, not just about this is a glorification of a historic figure, but more about this is illustrating the struggle of women to achieve the vote. But more importantly, my sculpture helps suggest that it's a living struggle today. The project has gathered many positive reactions, although the shortlist has caused some controversy. I feel like it'll make a difference because, especially children, um, children could see her and be like, oh, who's that, of being curious? And like me, I didn't get taught women's rights in school. I feel like children should be taught more about it and should know who she is because she's such an icon. It's really important that we have a woman represented in Manchester with a statue and that we, we honour her. She's such an amazing, important figure in history and that we should be really proud of her and show her off. I'm a little bit disappointed that there wasn't a woman-only shortlist for the, um, for, the, for the artists, really. I suppose because it's about feminism and it's about um, how women haven't had a voice. Um, and I still, I still feel we don't have a voice. I've got a young daughter who's 22. She finds it difficult to make herself heard, and so do I sometimes at 54. The maquettes will be auctioned at a fundraising dinner tomorrow night before the winner is announced next week. Lucy Connolly, Keys News.